What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about the latest film coming from the studio Bleecker Street and that film is called ISS. Directed by Gabriela Cowperthwaite and written by Nick Shafir, this film stars people like Ariana DeBose, Chris Messina, John Gallagher, and a couple others. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to my review for ISS. And when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I was definitely interested. I like a good space movie, but I can definitely say I've only seen this trailer maybe once or twice. This isn't one I really saw a lot of marketing for. And as we got closer to its release, I kind of forgot that I had even seen the trailer for this movie. And the second time I actually watched the trailer for this was right before actually going to the theater to check it out, just to remind myself about what this movie was about. I typically wouldn't do that, but I threw it on and yeah, I was almost like, oh yeah, I have seen this trailer before, but it felt like I'd seen it so long ago and maybe only once in front of a movie at some random point. So yeah, all that to say, I was kind of surprised leading up to this week that this movie had not been marketed very heavily. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. I I know some of my movie loving peers are probably gone to go see it already or plan to see it this weekend but it is by no means a movie that i was hearing the casual everyday movie goer uh talking about and so i just got back from checking it out in theaters it's the latest film coming from the studio bleaker street and it stars ariana debose in the lead role as dr kira foster who is the newest member of the iss or the newest scientist that's being sent to the ISS where she's one of three Americans who is joining a group of six individuals, three Americans as well as three Russians. And the premise of this film is simple and straight to the point. Not too long into the film, all six of the individuals on the ISS, the International Space Station, look onto the planet Earth, they're taking it in, and they start to notice that there's a bit of a flash going on here and there. They see a bunch of explosions happening from space on the Earth, and so they instantly start to try to reach out to their individual governments back on Earth to try to figure out what is going on. And not too long into reaching out to their individual governments, they individually receive messages secretly saying, Saying that there is a war happening on earth between russia and the us and now their individual governments are asking them to take over the iss by any means necessary and to control it for their individual government so now you have six individuals three americans three russians who are in this tense situation who have to decide how they're going to handle this and what they're going to do to try to take over the iss or even if they want to take over the iss for their individual government and you have a lot of distrust of course between the americans and the russians and then you also have distrust that's forming between the characters that are within their own you know nationalities their own countries you have the russians that are starting to bicker between each other you have the americans that are bickering between each other there's a lot of distrust happening across the board and what ensues is a film that's filled with a lot of tension and a lot of personal moments between characters that ultimately for me didn't necessarily live up to the really solid premise but but was entertaining to watch. The main thing to say about this film is that when it comes to a good space movie, a lot of times what makes it a lot of fun to watch is feeling like you're in space. And I think for the most part, this film definitely did a good job of that. Whether it be the practical locations that are used, the practical costumes that are used throughout the course of the film, as well as the accompanying CGI to make it look and feel like they're in space. I think for the most part, this film visually is really good to look at. It's really enticing and it definitely makes you feel like you are in space. And then on top of that, you do have this tense premise that does bring tension to the forefront. The earlier part of this film, right as all of these characters hear from their individual governments to try to take over the ISS, I was really into the movie. I found myself really engrossed trying, trying to find out what these characters were going to do. And it ultimately led to a lot of moments of really just tense silence, if you will. While there is some sound effects of what's going on in the actual spacecraft and some of the hum of the spacecraft, there isn't a whole lot going on dialogue wise. And there's a lot that the actors have to do facially to try to get across their feelings on certain moments as they also try to hide their feelings and their opinions from certain other people that they don't necessarily know if they can trust. And so with that, you have a well shot, well put together, well made film that has solid performances from all the actors throughout it. However, as the movie started to progress, I unfortunately started to find myself losing interest as I found most of the characters to be 
pretty annoying to kind of follow throughout the course of the film. On one hand, that definitely made it intriguing to watch these characters that all have these various temperaments dealing with a really tense situation. But on another hand, there becomes a moment where you don't necessarily know who to root for, and you almost start to question to yourself, is there anybody in this film I even care to root for? That was definitely a big struggle I had with this movie, is that I'm okay with watching a movie with characters that I don't necessarily agree with, characters that can frustrate me, as long as the story and the movie that's unfolding has something for me to latch on to and at least gives me some sort of excitement to see where these things are going to go with the characters and there was definitely a lot of that in the first part of the film as this premise was initiating but as we got to the latter half of the film it just started to become a little bit messy i thought that the last 10 or 15 minutes of this film felt a little bit all over the place and i just never really knew who i should give a damn about in this movie there are some predictabilities as well there's a lot that you can definitely see coming from a mile away which did take away from some of the tension and there were certain things also that just left me a little bit feeling just let down it's really the best way i could put it this is by no means a bad film in any way shape or form but i did find it to be a bit lackluster narratively and i think a lot of that has to do with the script and the screenplay which was written by nick shafir and i don't want to throw shade at the individual but this guy is actually his first release major release that he's ever written for so i mean kudos to him to be able to be writing on a big film that has some big actors in it but yeah you could tell that the script was written by somebody who's newer to writing scripts and screenplays it didn't necessarily feel like a lot of the story was super fleshed out nor did it feel like a lot of the characters had a lot of time to develop it's a movie with a solid premise that almost feels like it would have been better as a short film where certain things can happen a little bit quicker and it's kind of just more tension in a short window of time whereas with this it feels like certain things start to feel stretched out and again by the time you get to the end i just never really felt like they were making the right character choices and they never really felt like the story was expanding in an overly exciting way leading to an ending that ultimately left me shrugging my shoulders i could hear some people in my theater as the movie rolled into the credits kind of thinking eh, oh, that was okay, or oh, I didn't expect it to end that way. I heard a couple of little comments here and there from bickering between some of the people that were in the theater that I saw it in, and I kind of felt that way. As soon as the movie ended, even though I was entertained by a lot of it, I kind of had this moment of going, eh, that was kind of an okay ending. I wasn't really crazy about that. But what you do have throughout all the rest of the film, though, is a really tense film with some great performances. I do think this is a movie that's worth checking out, though I don't necessarily know it's one that you need to rush the theaters to see. And if there was one other thing I wanted to talk about here that just took me out of the film from time to time while watching it, it would be the zero gravity effect of this film. Any good space film that takes characters into some sort of space station where there's zero gravity, you know, has to tackle the zero gravity element of the film. And sometimes it can be an incredibly big challenge for the various actors, the directors, the stunt coordinators, and everybody involved to make it look and feel like our characters are in zero gravity. And there are so many ways that this can be achieved, and there are so many fantastic films that achieve it in an incredibly well done way. But in the case of this film, it was so clear to me that the actors were all all just kind of floating around on harnesses with wires and you can very plainly see the tension points on their clothing from where the wires were sitting and that just took me out of it the entire film there were so many moments where it was so clear that these characters were just kind of being whisked around on wires and pulling themselves around while you can see on their their belt kind of area or on their shirts uh, that there was a harness there that there was wires pulling their pants up there were times where some of these characters had their pants hiked up super super high High, and you could just see two tension points at the backs of their pants that was just made it so obvious how the effect was being done and kind of you know remove the illusion of what movie magic is all about i don't want to hate on the production team of this but there were just some things about the way that this film was made that made me giggle while i was sitting there in the theater add that into a story that ultimately made me feel like i didn't really care about the characters or that i just found myself kind of caring less as the movie progressed with an ending that didn't really do it for me and what you have is kind of a mixed bag for me in a lot of ways i found that this movie was a really solid premise a really cool idea with good actors in the mix and a lot of tension that kept me engaged for that first part of the movie but with all those other things i've mentioned here by the time i got to the end i just was kind of like yeah i liked it but i didn't love it but i didn't hate it but i didn't necessarily want to you know 
see it again? I don't really know how to fully describe how I feel about the film. I am feeling pretty torn and mixed on it. I do think it's going to be something that's going to work for some and maybe not work for others entirely. I think it's really going to depend on your personal taste on movies and what you want out of a movie like this. Do you want something that's more just tension based, more kind of moment based, or do you want something that's more character driven? I would say that this is more about just kind of seeing things play out in the moment, more so than it is about really developing a story with characters that you really grow to care for and for somebody like me who likes narrative who likes characters that's where i started to kind of feel a little bit of a lackluster feeling from this film so that's going to be my thoughts on iss definitely want to hear what you guys have to say did you like this movie did you not like this movie whatever the case may be leave any and all comments down below and i'll see you beautiful people in the next one Bye bye